It's a great pleasure to welcome Professor Sili Botti, the Tantex Professor of International and Development Economics at Yale University. The COVID crisis has en engendered more inequality in many fields. In the labor market, for instance, unemployment was higher in lower income segments. Education is another field particularly impacted by COVID. Fabrizio is one of the top macroeconomists of his cohort, and at least uh, we have all at some point seen and talked about one of his papers. I learned about him and I learned about his research uh, because he worked in the field of economic growth. And since then he has moved on and has taken a new line of research, a lot of it with his uh, co-author Matthias Dobke, about families. So how families uh, work, how parents educate their children, the role of altruism and all of that. This evening I would like to talk about the effect of COVID on inequality through a specific channel on which uh, I have been working in the past uh, uh, few years. We think of uh, COVID as a change in the environment. And that change in the environment producing some response, partly from the peer, to which I turn now, and partly from the parents. First, we estimate a model using pre-COVID data. Second, we make plausible, evidence-based assumptions. And then I can use the model, well, first to replicate those features, but more importantly, once I have a model I can trust, I can tell you what, if my model is right, what we should expect to happen uh, five years down the road. So in terms of uh, what of these different factors matter the most, well, for the average effect, the direct impact of school closure is the lion's share of the explanation, even though peer effects accounts for as much as 31% of the total effect, so it's certainly important, and even parental time, does. But when you look at the, at the, at the uh, socioeconomic gradient, its uh, peer effects are really important. We should be aware that these, the impact effects of uh, COVID on uh, educational inequality are hard to undo and have lifelong consequences on children's future prospects. However, there are of course policies that can mitigate the problem. Provision of uh, free targeted ch child care uh, would uh, uh, certainly be something something useful. The last point is uh, is a politically delicate one because on the one hand we want to make sure that people uh, enter and go back to the labor force. That said, awareness of the fact that some groups may need uh, support for spending time with their children and help their children can be a useful part of the story.